Well, we'll switch it up. Here's Polo. From the legendary Wannafest Studios in a predominantly white neighborhood, Wannafest presents Showtime with the Polo. Yeah, Showtime with the man who makes the movies, Polo. Polo, your life's the movie. How are you doing? I don't make the movies. Uh, Polo? Yes, sir. What have you made for us this week? I what? Have... <laughs> I didn't make What's the in the movie oven, <laughs> Master Baker? I did not make Master... the Master, hey, dump out of that. But I'd be Baker. glad to take responsibility for Kung Fu Hustle. Well, as you know, I've been screaming about that for weeks, and you know, you've know you been ignoring me. I know, and you do it right in the middle of a mall and scare people. Everybody was Kung Fu Hustle. Is that out in this area? Look it up. Yeah, Bits, no, that's you? everywhere now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Bits, a... let me know where that is playing, because I'll go to that one tomorrow. Yeah, everybody should go to that. I like Kung Fu and I like disco. It's got everything I've ever wanted. It's got, you know, I mean, the, the, fa the fact is, is it's very violent, but it's the cartoon violence that, you know, you can explain to your kids, that's not real. You know, where a guy's face... I took my kids to Reservoir Dogs. What do I care? Exactly. I mean, but that point is, is that, you know, you can pa pummel a guy's face so it's a big hole in the ground and things like that. You know, crazy, crazy violence. And the only thing that's probably a little bit uh, over the edge violence is early on a, a guy... Uh, has an axe thrown at him and his legs get cut off while he's running. Do me a favor and not oh. to let me know if there's a spoiler, Paulo. <laughs> Yes. So you don't ruin the movie for me? When you just heard me say I was going. Tomorrow. Yes, I'm not spoiling it. Just, you know, there's lots of things happening. So. I know, but that one thing, I'm going to go, already know it. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to say it like that? Mm -hmm. Sing it. <laughs> uh, what else is out there? All uh, right, so you got Without the... ruining it. Okay, well, since that's the Chinese flick with the subtitles, you know, we'll move on to the big one with the interpreter and Nicole Kidman. All right, hold on, Bits. I'm still waiting for you to come running in and tell me what theater that's closest is playing at. Go ahead, Polo. Yes, the interpreter, Nicole Kidman, as a uh, sort of a... Um, well, she's in a fictional uh, African country. She comes from a fictional African country. Don't be a racist, Polo. I'm They're not... real. They're real African countries. Just because you don't acknowledge them. No, <laughs> they, they, there are real African... But she, the movie is it's Mobutu or something like that, which is not a don't real... Don't be a racist. I'm not... It, the... Wasn't that the kid that Jack Nicholson wrote to in, uh, about Schmidt? <laughs> oh, that's Mobutu. Oh. My favorite African country... Niger. Go ahead, Polo. So tell is that us, how that's pronounced? Tell that's, us, that's tell us about this. Uh, tell us about this film. This is uh, Nicole Kidman is a interpreter at the UN, and I mean uh, Sidney Pollack is a uh, you know a, a great director who's done a lot of great films. But <clears throat> Tootsie, uh, he did Tootsie. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> exactly, he did Tootsie. But that is one nutty hospital. All right, hold on. Here's here's bits with a uh, with an update. Um, the Kung Fu Hustle is playing at a multiplex cinemas in Merrifield all day. Uh, what near me, bro? Oh, near. I don't know where you live. I know just nearest to the station. If you go down yes. uh, 50 and get on uh 29, yeah, you'll do, take you right over. Do the I look like I'm going from 50 to 29? No. Find me something closer now. Go. Okay. Hustle, Kung Fu Hustle, <laughs> back here. All right, go ahead, Polo. What were you saying? All right, something about their remaking Tootsie. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Ooh. Sidney Pollack did Tootsie, but he did Out of Africa, and he, he actually did Three Days with a Condor. That's kind of ironic that he did it uh, out of Africa, right? Yeah, a little yeah, ironic. Is, you know, yeah. going back to Africa. And didn't uh, Cindy Pollock also do Raisin in the Sun? No. Well, who am I thinking of? Oh, uh, Cindy Poitier. Sorry. Yeah. I get so confused. It's a little bit confusing. Yeah. He, uh, he is actually an actor. He was acting. In sure, tell me about it. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's a great actor. Cindy Poitier, you can't get no, any better. No, and Pollock. he needs an interpreter. Sidney Pollock. Oh, he speaks as well as anybody. Sidney Pollock is an actor. He was the agent in Tootsie that he directed the movie as well. Are you reviewing Tootsie? It seems like it's all you're talking no, about. No, I wasn't talking about Tootsie at all, but that, okay, so anyway, Sidney Pollack directed, the biggest thing about this movie is it's been filmed at the UN and there's never been a movie filmed at the UN before, I mean, they, you know. So, so how do we about know they Star really did? What about Star Wars, remember where they were all there and no, they had no. that the only big film that Everybody <laughs> thinks of is North by Northwest, but... In uh -huh. actual fact, Hitchcock had to steal his shots of the uh, of the UN, you know, without telling anybody. So that would be a good movie. Someone stealing the UN. Just, yeah, he filmed, I think that's the new Batman. <laughs> he films it at the UN. I mean, so he's really been smooching the UN's butt, you know, for this movie. I mean, that's it's really just a, a kind of a, a pushing the the whole global the UN is important type of thing. And it's you know, it's also a thriller. So you've got both things. You know, you've got the uh, mass murders in Africa. It's kind of too Is it many... any good? I can't follow this. Yeah, there's too many things going like on. Like Fez reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> He's reading the plain book. 
but okay, so there's, there's actually somebody just said, uh, yeah, the pop up book of phobias, Fez, if you like to read it. I got that for my birthday. Is it any good? Or I got it for Christmas. Yeah, it's scary as hell. Bring it in the work one night. <laughs> so it's a good movie, but, uh, you know, I mean, if, if you want to go see a movie about geopolitical, uh, you know, things, or if you want to see a thriller, but sometimes people who want to see the. You what about this movie? Do we want to see this one? Well, no, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's too much. Actually, it goes in one direction, then goes in another direction. No one can ever accuse you of getting a payoff from the studios because you make every movie sound like S. It sounds like it's too good. Uh, it's too much. <laughs> That's the problem. It's too good. Cause it's All right, here comes Puck. Puck, what do you want to update us with? Got a couple of locations for the movie tomorrow. Yeah. You got Springfield Mall at 450 and 720, yeah. Reston Multiplex at 435, mm. 7 o'clock and 930, and Fairfax Town Center at 530 and 755. All right. Did you tell them where you live? We're getting slightly closer. No, I want them. I don't want any of them to know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's drop that. You're saying that's a no-see, the Sean Penn movie. I would say, uh, yeah, I'd say it's a no-see. I'm but glad you told me because I was thinking about saying it. I well, really was. Every yeah, newspaper I mean, has I rave reviews. Not, I, was, I had it as a C. I, I'm saying it's a C, but, you know, just be aware that, you know... C, it's, but ew. don't plan on liking it. Yeah, That's what I mean, you're saying. Exactly. Don't Go to be annoyed. Respect it, but not like it. You'll respect it, but not like it. I don't want to respect it. I want to like it. Well, I'm not saying, you know, I mean, respecting is important, too. I mean, I, I think you... Yeah, in a relationship, but not in a movie. Uh, well, I mean, this time, maybe. But, I mean, there's no chemistry between Sean and, and Nicole, you know, Sean Penn... And, uh, you know, but there's a lot of good things in it. There's a, a couple of really, really excellent, exciting scenes. But uh, I'd say you're just going to respond. What was the big swallow about? Did you just hear just a major swallow? I had the feeling right. medicine. I'm sick. So that's, that's two thumbs well. down. What else you got for us, Polo? Okay, it's, it's, okay, a lot like Love, Ashton Kutcher, Amanda Peet is, uh, it's a, you know, it's a when, when Harry Met Sally type of movie. Uh, Ashton Kutcher, you know, is, uh, is not one of my favorite actors. What happened to the black girl he was just dating at the movies two weeks ago? Yeah, I mean, is that he, relationship he over? Debbie Moore? She's not black. <laughs> I think she's Italian. No. She's just old. Oh. <laughs> he was doing a That's Sidney dirt. Poitier movie, uh, Aston Kutcher. He was playing Sidney Poitier in a movie uh, a couple of weeks ago. Guess who's coming to dinner? I guess it was Aston Kutcher. Yeah, now it's Aston Kutcher again, so he's making very quick... Uh, and this is like, you know, a romantic comedy. And, you know, as uh, you know, he's, he's always punking people. Here he plays kind of a nerd... <laughs> What is if, he I get, if I get to the theater and there's no movie, <laughs> <Got punked>. <laughs> ah! <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> I'd feel like I was punked if the movie started, ran all the way through. <laughs> so I mean, uh, you know, it depends. Uh, you know, I don't think I saw an Ashton Kutcher movie on a plane and started praying for a plane crash. That's how bad it was. Oh, I was playing, praying that we'd hit a mountain. <laughs> Just to end the torture. Captain, I, there's, I think there's something wrong with the plane. It's the movie. <laughs> Frankly, I don't think they make romance anymore. I don't, I don't think uh, that they get these uh, the new generation of uh, movie people. I call them Generation X. No, I think it's Z. I think it's, we're at Z now. But, I mean, <laughs> the, po the point is, is romance. Well, where do we go from there? <laughs> it was A? A, A plus. I don't know. Do you make the titles? <laughs> so, but the point is, is that this, this is another bad movie. Then Polo. I'm saying it's 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 it tries. It really tries hard. We haven't had a good romantic comedy in a long time, and it really tries to figure out what that is. But I don't think it understands what it is. And you know, they they do you? I yeah, I love romance, and uh, you know, I, I was <laughs> I was rooting for this. I was rooting for the romance. And Amanda Peet is one of those actresses who's been around for a while. And they uh, keep pushing her as being the next big star. And isn't she just awful? Am I the only one that thinks that? I never like her in anything. Yeah. I, I can't think of one thing where I went, oh, she was good in that. I mean, she's always in something, you know, uh, Something's Gotta Give with Jack Nicholson. She was in... Uh, and was she not the worst thing in that film? Saving Silverman. She was in, uh, you know... And I was... She was... Uh, the whole ten yards. The whole nine yards. Yeah. I, I think every film she does, she's the worst thing in it. Well, I mean, you the know, the bug eyes get to me, and the and the buck teeth. Yeah. Oh, I'm nose. not saying no. You're going a different direction as me. I think she's hot as hell. I just don't think she's an actor. Well, you know, it's not so much that she's not a good actress; is that she's. She, I don't think she has a basic appeal. She's a she. She's doing all these various roles, and you know, sometimes she's a nasty girl, sometimes she's a good girl, but. I don't get that. I don't get the, uh, the the attraction. I mean, as you say, maybe you want to sleep with her, but uh, you know, as a movie star, I'm not sure. 
I'm looking at this. She's done 38 movies already. Wow. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I mean, she's not a star yet. And this is this is like her biggest uh, shot right now with Aston Kutcher. Yeah, I guess it would be. And then uh, what's the name of this movie? A Lot Like Love. I. She's already got four waiting to come out after this. And she's just done, um, what, like three recently, right? She was in the Melinda. Melinda, it's yeah. insane. I know. It's insane how many movies that she gets and Giant Brian gets none. Now, you know, yeah, you know she's doing something to producers out there uh, in the uh, Well, God bless them, but why don't they just throw money at her rather than this? I, why drag her through our living room? I mean, she must uh, have some little thing going on because she's in a lot of movies. Yeah, I know where that little thing is, too. <laughs> Look below the belt. For that many movies, it's going to be a big thing now. <laughs> well, you know, good, good luck to her. So then there's another stupid movie that has nobody else's review. I actually managed to see it called King's Ransom. <laughs> no and one else is reviewing. Like, you got, a, you got an exclusive. Got an exclusive nobody <laughs> wants to review it because they don't consider it a real film. <laughs> I've got an exclusive. This right? is the no Jay Moore hip-hop comedy. Yeah, Jay Moore like. has got a nice niche for himself going now where he's the, the token white guy in movies. Yeah. So that's that's going. That's a good thing for him. Now, are they voting off comics in this movie? <laughs> no, there's Anthony Anderson. Is it's sort of like he's playing Danny DeVito. How many people does he rape in this? No, he does, he, he was cleared of the rape charges. Oh, then I apologize. That's it. Jay right. Moore allegedly. Uh, no, uh, Anthony Anderson, Kangaroo Jack. Oh. Anthony Anderson, you know, another actor who's in every movie apparently, you know, and is, is must be doing something for the producers out in Hollywood. Just sick. <laughs> but uh, it's, you're just jealous, Paulo. A producer wouldn't have you. I understand. So he, uh, you know, produce wouldn't have him. He's, he's playing Danny DeVito. He's a rich guy who's got an ex-wife who's and he kidnaps himself so he can get out of uh, paying her any money. And it's, it's a garbage movie. But I'm an exclusive on this. I got no other reviews, competing reviews on this movie for whatever. So is it any good? Why don't you really? No, review? it's horrible. It's horrible. Of course they're not going to show it to critics. It's a nightmare. How did you get to see it? <laughs> Well, it's a nightmare movie. It's awful. How did you get to see it, Polo? I, it was, I, I don't know. There was a screening last night. Then, and, and yeah, sure, usually the screenings on Thursday night, they don't, you know, the critics uh, who write for things can't, uh, can't, right. get, can't get a review out. But, I mean, that's not my fault. They can't get... Uh, so they had a one-man screening. No. Right, anything else out, Polo? That's, that's enough. And I've been screaming about Kung Fu Hustle for weeks, and, you know... You've We're finally going to get a chance to see it. You've ignored me, but I mean... I, I'm, well, I'll see it this weekend, and I'll give my review next week. It's the greatest Kung Fu movie of all time. That, my friend, is going places. If you're right about that... Uh, this will be the greatest weekend of my life. Except if you're a purist. This will be a better weekend than when my kids were born. Except wow. If, and you can take the kids. That's huge. As I say, aside from the... Kung I don't want to. I like to stretch out a little bit. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, they, they have these adult theaters now you can go to with the, where they give you the... Yeah, I know. We were, you and other men sit with your uh, <laughs> with your coats on your lap. You and <laughs> Pee-wee. You filthy bastard. No, I'm saying where they serve food and they drinks and things like that. You know. Yeah, it's called like, a drive-in, Paul. I've been to one before. <laughs> okay. Yokel. <laughs> But it is, uh, it is a. It is what it is. It's isn't not it, a purist movie though, because they they do have strings and the, you know a lot of CGI effects. So it's not like you know if you're looking strings. for kung fu where they do the moves without uh, a strings. Assistance. Strings. And uh, how soon before we get a summer movie? Summer. Uh, you know they'll be coming in the summer. People are already online for the Star Wars. Star Wars kicks it off, I think, right? Yeah. What about this uh, Fantastic Four? When's that start? Uh, that'll be, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks. Let me see. I got the preview. In My, uh, I'm going to give an early review. Yeah. Fantastic 2, mediocre 2. That's what oh. I'm going to say. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> Batman Begins. And then, you know, all those movies. But as I say, they're on the line for the uh, Star Wars. And that coming out the same day as the Star Wars is the Exorcist, the beginning again, Dominion. Yeah, uh, it sounds awful. <laughs> Which is... The first version of The Exorcist beginning that they shelved by Paul Schrader. So this should be interesting as well for anybody who doesn't want to go see Star Wars. Yeah. Um, I'm not... Um, I I'll also predict the Star Wars is going to stink on ice. No. I, I think we're going to cry. <laughs> Why will we cry? It, it's a, because it stinks so bad? No. No, because this is the end. It's, it's over. It's never coming back. Until Lucas... Uh, dies and one of his adopted kids starts making the films every three weeks. 
Those are, that is exactly what's going to happen. Those are cute kids. Yeah, they are. But they're not going to sit on cash like that when all they got to do is hand it over to Steven Spielberg's son, Max Spielberg, let him start making them films. All right, Paulo. Well, that was so awful. I think this is your last week reviewing film for us. Sorry, I don't make the movies, and in, in especially not. Well, you should. King the way Francis. you're uh, giving up movie reviews. Paulo, you keeping up with the Project Greenlight at all? Yes, sir. I mean, Chu Kluliger is a, is a great actor. Uh, yeah. Why do they pick these directors and then just hate them so much? They're making this kid's life a living hell. They totally set people up to fail. Man, did you see the Lost in La Mancha, La Mancha with uh, Terry Gillum? Uh, you know what he yeah. went through? I mean, this is every movie he makes that the producers torture. That's what producers do. Do you know what dealing with Harvey Weinstein must be like on, a, 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 on any movie, except for Quentin Tarantino? They all must be tortured by the man. You know what? I met him one night, and he couldn't have been nicer. He was incredibly nice. How about the brother? I didn't meet the brother. And I'm like, I want, and but then I've read so many things that uh, that he's just a vicious, mean human being. But I could see why he got to be successful because he had a really uh, outgoing, nice personality. But uh, that whole thing of oh, he physically intimidates people, I'd punch him right in the face. I was looking him over because I heard of so many things. I was thinking, yeah, I wish he would yell at me just once. I'd push <laughs> that flat nose back up in his head. You know how you're going to... I, I played out a whole scenario, a yeah, whole you... thing in my head, and then went and got more cheese. You figured out you were going to You don't it act out, right? it out. Yeah, don't kid yourself. I, I'd be the king of Hollywood. If I would have punched him in the face that night, people would be buying me drinks in Hollywood. <laughs> people just say thank you. Because I have nothing to lose. What's he going to do? Not make any movies with me? I do bad radio. Craig, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, hey, Paulo, actually, I got a, an important question. I'm glad you're here tonight. I really respect you. What do you think? You know, Americans, we just can't make any good horror movies, uh, you know, anymore. Are the Asian people so advanced now? Have you seen, you, well, you no, see what I'm... It's just, they are I'm, in math. We're, we're it, stealing their, uh, you know, the uh, the Japanese, uh, you Bukaki. know, horror movies. Which, and, and I'll tell you, the one movie I keep telling people to see is Audition, if you ever get a... Uh, That's the movie I wanted to ask you about. Was it, did you, did you like the movie? Oh, I loved Audition, because it's, it literally will, will ruin your life. If you see that movie, you will never sleep again. And you, have, you, have you ever met the, the director? He's from New York. Have you ever met him before? Well, no, I haven't met him, but I mean, you know, he's, he, he, he churns out the movies. And that's the thing, over there in Japan, they, 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 they got a... Japan. <laughs> he just called it Japan. You should check him, man. Why not hey, just nip on? Check out his photographs. He's a great photographer. See ya. Yes, he's a great All right, what's his name? Oh, come on. I don't pronounce Japanese names. What makes him such a great photographer? What are we talking about here? All right, I have to look it up. <laughs> I'd have to look them up. Right, what is this movie that you like, Paulo? Audition. If you ever see it, it'll, it'll uh, basically ruin what, what is it about? Well, if I, I, I don't want to tell you because it has a really... Uh, uh, I'm not going to see it. Where, the, where am I going to do? Go to a movie in Tokyo? It ain't going to happen. Oh, Let's find out where it's playing. It's, 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 it's a, it, no, it's a... It's you know, it really frustrated me that Puck took over for Bits, too. It, uh, Bits is on my bad side tonight. I'm glad you brought that back up. It's on DVD. Uh, it's the, the, the director is Tash, Takashi Miki. And is it, it's a horror film? It's a horror film. It's about a guy who's divorced. And his friend uh, says, "Well, let's let's set up a phony audition. And we'll meet a lot of girls, uh, who, you know, actresses, you know." And then he dates one of the girls, and uh, a really nice little uh, schoolgirl type. Is it in Japanese? Wait a minute. So what happens? Yeah, is he nail her? It's a jimbo. No, I'm not going to tell you anymore. Uh, well, that sounds like exactly. His name is Tahashi Mike. Ta yeah, ta ta ha Takashi. <laughs> Mike. I think that's one of the bartenders <laughs> no, at Thursday. <laughs> I'm looking at an IMDb. There's two eyes. It's, oh, it's an eye with a hat. It's I still a, call that Mike. Mike Ikiki. Mike Ikiki. Something like that. Are you trying to call a cat? <laughs> no. So anyway, that's the scariest movie I ever saw because it really does just slam you in the head where you're not expecting it. What happens? Oh. Somebody turns into I a can't zombie? Tell Someone you. Someone hit him with a shovel and took his wallet. I'm not. I'm not spoiling. I like it when you spoil the Japanese film. You didn't have any problem with it with Kung Fu Hustle. I didn't spoil Hung. I, the strings. It was the be uh, the strings. <laughs> That's uh, not. Paulo, if you like Spider-Man, you like it. Our relationship with it's, you if is... If you like uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> and who doesn't? Our relationship with you is over. No, I'm It saying, just can't work. I didn't make the movie. You're I gone. I You're gone, Paulo. Not You're response. done. You're done. I had to fire him. He's been with us for probably eight months now, and finally I had to fire him. He's been with us for years. Whatever.
The point is he's out. Wow. So we're looking for a new movie reviewer starting uh, next week.